Hi beautiful people, this is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel if you are new. So this is a pick a card reading about your love interest. Should you leave them in the year 20, 2019 or should you bring them into the new year, into 2020? So this is for those of you who need to figure out what you're going to do about your connection. Should you let this connection go, leave it in 2019, or should you bring it into 2020 and deal with them? All right, so I just kind of got this idea out of nowhere because I feel like a lot of you guys have been indecisive about your love interest and you need to make up your mind because time is precious, right? So this is for group one. I'm gonna show the shuffling. For my skeptics out there, group one, should they or should they not leave them in 2019? Should they leave them in 2019? Should they leave them in 2019? Let me shuffle it again. Should they leave them in 2019? Hope you guys have been well. So this will answer group one now we're gonna shuffle for group two let me just push it up here group two should they leave them in 2019 should they leave them in 2019 should they leave their love interest in 2019 group two should they leave their love interest in 2019 Group two. Group three, should they leave them in 2019? Group three, should they leave them in 2019? Should they leave their love interest in 2019 and move forward in 2020? Or should they deal with their love interest in 2020? Let's. Alrighty. So these are your options. You have um, three options to choose from. I just want you guys to focus on the card. So I'm not going to put like anything, you know, to get your attention. I'm not going to put anything on top of the cards. I feel like this way you'll really focus. Sorry if it's kind of crooked. I'm trying to make this video as brief as possible. So you have three options, okay? You have option one, two, and three. Um, just go ahead and choose your option. Don't think too hard. Just choose the option that's calling out for you, okay? All right, so we're going to start with option one. So group one. Oh my. So, should you leave your love interest in 2019 and move forward in 2020, or should you deal with them in 2020? The answer here is you should reconnect with them in 2020. Um, with the Seven of Swords here, I feel like whatever the problem is between the two of you can be fixed. There is a resolution to this problem. And I definitely see the two of you overcoming obstacles. Um, I, I see a major change in this connection between you and your person of interest. The reason why I say that is because I see that the two of you will have really good communication. Like there's going to be a serious discussion between the two of you on what you can do differently to make things work. In the past, there was a lot of um, painful events that took place. Um, someone here was definitely hurt, definitely mistreated, but you're hurting, just know that they're hurting as well. Um, so when the two of you reunite, which will happen, um, there's also going to be a reconciliation following the reunion because you can have a reunion without a reconciliation. A reunion is just two people, you know, reconnecting. A reconciliation is 
actually fixing things between the two of you so that there won't be another separation, right? So the Seven of Swords is basically the two of you working things out, fixing what was broken. Um, you know, especially the, the partner who caused a lot of damage is really going to be putting in that work to fix the connection. You have the Six of uh, Cups here. Now, there's going to be a period where the two of you are going to be, it's going to be strictly a, a friendship first. I don't see the two of you just jumping into anything intimate or romantically intimate. And that's just because you want to see if there will be changes before officializing the relationship. Once you see see this major change that I'm talking about between you and your person, the Six of Cups is saying that then there, there will be an official commitment between the two of you. This is really beautiful. Some of you guys could have been high school sweethearts. Um, some of you could have been like first love. It's just that the connection is so strong and, it, and the two of you feel like you can't find this anywhere else with anyone else. The Sun card is saying that the reunion is definitely worth it because there's going to be a lot of happiness, fulfillment, and satisfaction between you and your person. So to conclude everything, should you leave them in 2019? The answer is no. This connection is definitely worth fighting for. Um, you know, try giving them a chance during the new year for 2020. Try giving them a chance. If you haven't spoken to this person in a while, they're definitely wanting to reach out to you, but you might just have to welcome them or show them that they are welcome back into your life. Um, don't hold off on this. I really want you guys to communicate with this person before 2020 even comes so that you guys can strategize and plan how things are going to go. So thank y'all. Thank you so much, Group One. Um, if you would like a private reading on this topic, if you should leave them in 2019 or move on, please visit my website. The link is in the description box and you can purchase this topic as a private reading and I'll answer your question um, personally because this is just a general reading. All right. So we're going to start with Group Two next. Let's see. The Hierophant, Five of Wands. Ace of Wands. I actually want to um, pull out some clarity cards for the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Let's see. Ooh, this one. <laughs> the Lovers. Okay. So, Group 2, your situation is kind of complex um, because there's so much drama. There's so much drama between you and this person. And it's kind of frustrating because the two of you know that the two of your soulmates now just understand that there are many forms of soulmates okay not every soulmate is meant to be in your life permanently um you know the point of a, of a soulmate is to help better us it's to help teach us a lesson um so some some soulmates are just meant to be in our lives temporarily you know it was good while it lasted while others can be our lifetime partners so just understand that but the lover's card is basically saying that there was a significant reason as to why the two of you met each other. Let's just start with the Hierophant though. So the Hierophant is saying that um, there definitely needs to be a major discussion between you and your love interest because the two of you are not on the same page. Um, there's a lack of clarity in this situation. So maybe there's like no contact, no communication, but it doesn't matter how long it's been since the two of you have spoken to each other or dealt with each other because the connection is still very strong. Um, the two of you, it's almost like there was never a separation in the first place. If there was a separation, it feels like there wasn't because the two of you have been energetically dealing with each other and you can't get your mind off of each other. I just wish that both of you can make a final decision on, on what you want to do because there's a lot of indecision here and indecision causes situations to be prolonged right because you're not taking action on what you want to do next you have the five of wands so this is the obstacle here i feel like too many people are involved maybe it's third party situations or family lack of support from family and friends but really what i'm seeing here with the five of wands is the two of you need to stop caring so much about what people have to say stop letting people get in your ear Okay, it's time for you to mature and make a decision based on what you want. 
Um, not to say that you shouldn't consider the advice of your loved ones, but I'm just saying in the end, you have to make a decision on what you want. I would really suggest that you and your person both mutually meet up, talk to each other without friends, family, no one else there, and really be vulnerable with each other and express what you want from each other because this has been dragging on for so long. There needs to be good communication. Um, I'm, I, let me see what's, what else is going on with this five of wands. Yeah. Hangman. Too many, there's too many, um, there's too many people involved here and someone in this connection cares way too much about what other people think of them, what other people have to say. It's kind of like it's you and them versus family, versus friends, versus the third party. But I'm telling you, once you prioritize what you want and you clear out what other people are telling you to do, you're going to be able to make a final decision. Next, you have the Ace of Wands being clarified by the Lover's card. The problem here is... Once the two of you can get over these obstacles, there will be a serious a, a serious commitment between the two of you. Like I said, the two of you are soulmates, but there's so much like, I just feel like there are people who don't want the two of you to be together. The two of you are a power, like once the two of you come together, you guys will be a power couple. A power couple you guys so maybe that's why people are fearful of the two of you reconnecting um, because the compatibility between both of you is just amazing it's like you're the you you are their other half or they are your other half so once the two of you connect my goodness like things are going to take off and so there's definitely a lot of like jealous individuals here around you guys but I really would advise the two of you to just Leave other people out of this and listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. That's what I would say to the both of you. So to simply answer your question, should you leave them in 2019 or, you know, take the move forward with the connection, um, reconnect with them in 2020? The answer is, this is not just for me. I'm seeing in 2020, you're definitely going to reconnect with each other because of this soulmate connection. Um, I would say that you should not leave them in 2019. I would say try to reach out to them, try to give them a chance in 2020. Um, and the reason why is because if the two of you do decide to go separate ways, I want it to be by your decision, not by other people's decision. I don't want these other people to be the reason as to why the two of you, you know, go, go, go separate ways. If it does happen, if there is a separation and the two of you decide, hey, let's move forward, I want it to be from the two of you, not because other people are telling you to do that. Basically, I don't want these haters. I don't want these outsiders who want to have control over the two of you. I don't want them to win. That's what I'm saying. I don't want them to get their way. All right. It should it should any decision should come from the two of you, not other people. Let me just say that. All right. So, we're going to start on group three. Group three, should you leave them in 2019? Let's see. So, group three, you have um, the four of wands, you have the seven of pentacles, and you have the two of cups. I got the word matrimony when I looked at the two of cups. Let's just start with the four of wands. The four of wands is all about redemption. The four of wands is all about overcoming obstacles in a connection and, you know, finally, finally seeing your hard work, finally being rewarded for your hard work. I absolutely love the four of wands because, you know, this is a couple celebrating their wedding day, right? So it's a celebration that's going on, but notice how they are showing us these four wands, right? And wands, from my perspective as a reader, wands represents like a, a defense mechanism, right? So this basically, rep, the four wands represents problems or obstacles in the connection. And they had to defend their connection 
from these obstacles. They overcame, okay? They overcame these obstacles in order to redeem themselves, in order to redeem the connection. It wasn't an easy journey. No connection is perfect. So, you know, yes, while it's their, their wedding day, they're saying it wasn't easy getting here. It wasn't easy get, getting to marriage. We had problems. We had issues. But we we were able to, you know, make changes, make adjust, adjustments and, you know, better the connection in order to make this work. And so they ended up redeeming their, their connection. And, and the four of wands, it doesn't only represent marriage, but it can just represent that there's going to be a serious commitment between the two of you. Once the two of you can, you know, strategize and talk about what changes need to need to be made, you know, sh um, maturing, shedding, you know, bad habits, an unhealthy behavior, there has to be some changes here. No connection is perfect. Next, you have the seven of pentacles. Now, really the seven of pentacles is seeing seeing your hard work, seeing the benefits of your hard work. Um, there's definitely a there's definitely history, a very strong history between you and your person, group three, and the two of you have mutually worked very hard on this connection. So don't give up now because it's sort of like the light, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It might be hard right now, but in the end, it's going to be worth it, okay? You're going to see the abundance of this connection. Next, you have the Two of Cups. This is passion, mutual passion, lust. Um, you know, there's there could be some, I don't really like to talk about elements, but there could probably be like, an earth or fire sign somewhere in in the both of you guys' chart if there's not don't worry because I don't really talk about elements because these cards cards are just energies right so I, I really just want to say that the two of you are just really really passionate about each other um, there's definitely been mutual effort in this connection so don't think for one second that your partner has given up on you or that you're all alone in this connection because you're not they have worked very hard as well um, and so to simply answer your question, should you leave them in 2019? Um, no, don't leave them in 2019. I definitely see a serious commitment that will, that will lead to marriage for you guys. I'm definitely seeing a lot of weddings going on in 2020 for group three. Um, what else do I want to say? The two of you have not given up on each other. So that's a clear sign. If it was a situation where it was unrequited and you're the only one who's working, I would say, girl, leave that alone or boy, leave that alone and go find a partner who will meet you halfway. But th this is a requited love. This is, you know, a mutual effort connection. So group three, I would really say don't leave them in 2019. Um, just try communication is so important you guys try to talk about what are the obstacles and how you can how you can overcome those obstacles all right so um, group three thank you guys so much thank you for watching um, if you're interested in a private reading you can um, book a private reading with me and choose this topic and I will do your own personal reading for your own love situation because this is just a general reading so it may not apply to every single person who chose you know these options um, my readings are quite affordable they're like what thirty dollars and up so if you're interested take a look the link to my website is in the description box all right thank you guys so much and you have a great day